you know. Like I'm upset. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Let me talk. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title down below, <laughs> it's a little bit of a hectic, hectic video. Um, but yeah, I decided to do a little bit of a story time with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is my version of the story. Thank you so much to Tato Fox for being the in inspiration as to behind why I actually filmed this video. And yeah, sit back and listen to me talk about how I was once a side chick. And an un unbeknownst, unbeknownst to me, but I was once a side chick. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Well, as you can see, no makeup and <laughs> if you can read from the title below, this is going to be a very, very interesting video to film. But I was inspired. I was really, really inspired after I saw um, Tato Fox. I think it's Tato Fox. Her video on having been called by a side chick and I was like... Ah! I have got a very similar story, however mine is just a little bit worse, you know, it's a, it's a lot. So I was talking to a friend of mine and, oh by the way, I'm going to be using these brushes. I recently got them in from Dupe Factory, um, they are the BH Cosmetics brushes. Let me get started with this video because it's a lot. It's a lot. It might be a long one. I don't want it to be a long one, but it might be. As you can read from the title below, you can see that uh, yeah, sometimes you're a, a side chick and you don't even know it. I've been through this before and when I saw Tato Fox's um, video, I was like, Ew, I've been through this before. I was a side chick. But the difference is, I was a side chick and I didn't know it. That's the difference. I didn't know it. And the worst part is that I was not even a side chick to like a man with a girlfriend. I was a side chick to a man who was married. And I didn't know it. <laughs> so basically, this story goes back way, way back. Um, for the sake of protecting people's names and reputations, we will just call this here person a uh, Chomo. <laughs> Uchomo and I were have had known each other for quite a long time. Ooh, these brushes though. We first started getting to know each other in varsity and we went to the same school together so it was it was I had known him he was uh, always um, he was I think a year or two ahead of me by the time when I started at uh, varsity I used to see him he was um, I think I was in first year or something and he was doing his uh, third year I don't know but I would see him all, all the time and I'd be like oh my god so cute and I'd be so excited and be jittery. Fast forward we eventually get to know each other and um, you know we hang out a lot blah 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 wada, wada, wada. fine and then the years go by he graduates from the varsity that I, I was at and he <laughs> he goes and he starts working right so I see him Pretty much every day and we hang out and like oh no you know blah blah you know we, we have dates and things like that and we eventually decide to kick it off and, and do something you know and and be together fine then I graduate and then I move obviously I get a job but then I decide to go back to the same varsity to do my postgrad but we're still kicking it and he's still visiting blah 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 fine I finish my postgrad grad but we still keep in contact. So it's like, no, he still comes and sees me and what have you. So maybe at this point, we're just with boyfriend and girlfriend. That's if, at least I thought, <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend. You know what the funny thing is? It's true when they say they are signs, we just choose to ignore them. It is so, 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 so true. When we were together, he would always come at like, awkward hours to come visit me no you know I work late hours and blah 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 and sometimes you know I can't come during the day because I'm at work and I'm like ah, it's fine it's fine it's okay no problem I'm working and he already has a son but this was around the time that um, uh, we were apart this was there was a time because we were constantly on and off blah 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 but this was around the time that he was apart and you know 
he got somebody pregnant and he became a daddy, but then told me that no, they're no longer together, blah blah blah. Okay, okay. So I'm like, I ah, know it's fine, I'm not gonna, you know, change how I feel about somebody because they have a child and what have you. That's that's just not me. So eventually, I decided to go to okay. Let me, you know, let me, let me try and be serious with this guy. Let's try and be serious. But even though I would notice that something was just off, something was just awry with him. Every time, no, let's link up over the weekend. No, let's do this. Ish, I can't, blah, blah, blah. He would always come and visit me at awkward hours. But because of his job, I knew that um, he did work awkward hours. But I didn't think too much of it, right? So when he would visit me, it would be a case of he would come visit shop we chill and then at like 1 a.m he'd be like oh no i got a call from work i need to <laughs> you know i need to go i can't come blah 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 ing, ing, ing. fine no problem i'm like ah no it comes with the territory it's your job it's fine it's not a problem how oh, one day one day is one day <laughs> one day i'm chilling with my best friend dineo and she's visiting me uh, for a weekend. This is where all the BS started basically. So it's like one o'clock in the morning or whatever and we're watching this movie We can't sleep. I mean, it's the weekend. Why should we sleep? We're having some wine. We're chilling I get a text on my phone at one o'clock in the morning <laughs> This text comes in Wait, guys, I can't even focus. I'm actually starting to feel my blood boil with regards to this thing. Okay, so this text comes in and it's a long ass message, but the message comes from Jomo's phone. So immediately when I look, I'm thinking, oh, Jomo's texting me. Okay, he's probably at work or something like that. So he's sending me a text. It's a long message. Ganti, Ganti, it's, 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 it's Jomo's phone, but it's not a message from Jomo. I get the message and the message says something along the lines of, yeah. So you are the bitch. You are the bitch. You are the bitch that is taking my man away from me. What, 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 what? Are you aware that this man is mine? In, 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 in. Do you know that this man has kids? I'm like, mm? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I'm sitting there thinking, no, 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 no. And then my friend is like, oh, wait, chill, chill, chill. So this girl goes on to say that you have no idea that this man is mine and this and that and the other blah blah blah, you know. So I'm already thinking, wow, okay, if it's coming from his phone, he's in the same room, probably sleeping. And this person is going through his phone. All right, no, continue, continue. So this girl swears at me, she uses some really, really bad your profanity words just hectic for me, bitch. She calls me, it's fair, bitch, if you know what that is. She calls me all this. I'm in shock because I had no idea that this was going on. I had no idea. So I'm thinking, ah, man, my friend is like, ah, man, maybe it's not a, it's not too much of a big deal. Wara, wara, oh, I'm using this. It's actually a really, really good concealer, this one. Um, my friend is like, no, man, maybe it's not a big deal. Wait to see first, blah, blah, blah. Or wait to find out if it's true. What if this person... I'm like, hey, if this person is texting me with Jomo's phone, it means Jomo is in the room, probably sleeping. I'm like, okay. Fine, at that point, I get upset. And now I want to respond with some hectic profanity words because she was really, really horrible to me. And she doesn't know whether I know about this or not, right? So I want to respond with some really, really hectic words so that she can feel me as much as she wants me to feel her, right? My best friend says, Katla, it's not worth it. Dino's like, no, it's not worth it. Give me your damn phone. I'm like, why are you, why, why are you taking my phone? I want to respond to this girl, right? She's like, give me your damn phone. I'm like, I, I do not want you to take my phone. Why are you taking my phone? No, Katla, you're going to start swearing back and blah, blah, blah. And it's not worth it. Why are you doing this? Now I'm fighting with my friend, Dino, about this, right? She takes my phone and she responds to that very same message that comes from Joma's phone. <laughs> she responds to it and says, God bless you. Good night. <laughs> you know, like I'm upset. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Let me tell this girl what you get off. I didn't even know about this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, shop. 2 
Hello? And I was like, nah, it's not worth it. What, what? I'm like, no, I want to tell her business. So my friend's like, the person you should be attacking right now is Jomo, not her. And at this point, Jomo is fast asleep, so you can't even do anything about this until tomorrow morning. So that girl was slick, right? She was so slick because um, I think she may have deleted the message. So Jomo phones me the next day and he's like very chilled on the phone. He's like, hi, baby, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm playing it very cool. I'm very coy. I'm like, oh, hello, Sharp, how are you? Blah, 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 you know. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm fine. How are you doing? Blah, blah, no, hey, I'm fine. I just missed you, you know. You missed me, Njantin. You missed me. Bobby's, you were sleeping. <clears throat> okay, continue missing me. It's fine. So I'm, my friend is like, okay, play it cool. Don't even worry about it. Play it cool. Don't say anything. Just keep quiet. Let it, let it, we've got a plan. Can I see you? I'm working late today, but I can come late. And I'm like, you can come late. You're rubbish. At this point, I'm thinking, maybe he lives with her. You can imagine all the things that are going through my head. Maybe he lives with her. Maybe they're kicking it. Maybe they're blah, blah, blah. Maybe this is going on. Like, this guy has kids. Like, what the fuck? You know? One time we were, we were meeting up for like a quick what's this, lunch and what have you. So he was at work and I was also at work but I was knocking off early. So I said to him, no, let me just FaceTime you quickly. <laughs> this is where shit hit the fan. Let me just FaceTime you quickly, man. I miss you, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a plan. There's a plan coming, right? I miss you, let me just FaceTime you quickly, blah, blah, blah. And at this point, the stupid, stupid, stupid old me is like, no, maybe, maybe we can work things out. Oh, actually, before then, before then, I actually did confront him. I said to him, um, yeah, so I got this and this message, what, what, what. No, 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 no. Um, no, that's the mother of my child. What, 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 what. I had come there to see my kids. I fell asleep. Uh, to see my kid. I fell asleep on the couch and this and then the other. She must have taken my phone. We're not together. What, 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 what. And gullible old Gatel. Le rubbish. Believed it. I believed that he was telling me the truth. I believed that that woman was crazy. This is what we choose to believe as women, which is rubbish. We choose to believe that the woman is crazy and that the man isn't trash, and he is. Right? Fine. Okay. Before lunch, I'm like, ah, I, I just, I just wanna, you know, see your face. Let me FaceTime you. Blah 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 blah. In in in. <laughs> Let me FaceTime. Hey, FaceTime is the devil. <laughs> I FaceTime him, me, little old Katleo, being as sweet as I am, I FaceTime him. And as I FaceTime him, you will not believe. You will not believe. I mean, you know with FaceTime, you've got the phone here and you're doing this. Ne? So, I think it was hot that day or something. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? I think it was hot that day. So, he's holding his phone like this with his right hand. Do you see where I am going with this? So that as he's talking to me, he's like, hey, hey, hey. yes, yes, she's a yes, she's a, and then he touches his face. I'm like, ah, wait, hey, yay, 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 go back, go back. What the hell did I just see on your finger? He's like, no, 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 you didn't see anything. No, nothing, nothing. Guys, I saw a wedding band on this man's left finger. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I literally saw a wedding band on this guy's finger. Huh? I'm like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, no, no. Yes, and baby, let me explain. What, what, what. I'm like, no, no, no. This guy was married. Hey, so technically, me, I'm the side chick. This girl who was swearing at me a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of, or it was a few days ago at that point, until the day I saw the ring. That girl who was swearing at me is actually his wife. <laughs> yeah, I was shook. No, no, I need to, we need to talk about this, blah, blah. I'm like, no. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even Lobola. It's OPW, White Wedding, Ushadili. And you didn't tell me. 
we in Jashem. I was so shocked, I couldn't even, I don't know if, I, I couldn't even be angry. I think I was just hurt more than anything. Like, I've known this person for so long, for so long. And here he is doing this to me. And I'm sitting here suffering, being told where to get off by somebody that I just thought, ah, this person, you know, yeah, it's a baby mama having a hard time. No, it's a wife having a hard time with her cheating husband. And that's what she's doing. <laughs> Side chick, Katleo. That was the first and last time in my life I was ever a side chick. Unless if I ever was a side chick after that, then I know nothing about it. But that was the first and last time in my life that I was ever a side chick, guys. Guys, I saw that ring and I was like, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. The moral of the story is men are trash, number one. That's the moral of the story. But also another moral of the story is that Sometimes side chicks don't even know that they're side chicks. Like you, you like, like, do not judge first before saying, "Hey, I'm a side chick." What? What? Sometimes they don't even know. Ever since then, I've never seen or spoken to him. It's been years now. The moral of the story is sometimes even side chicks don't know that they're side chicks. Okay, don't judge. Unless the side chick is somebody who just I gotta know. So from me. Let me. So that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a story time as to when I was a side chick and I was unaware that I was a side chick. It's something that happens. It happens apparently because men are trash. Have you ever been a side chick? Unaware of it, or do you just side chick and chill? And you love it but other than that let me know um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye